Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And my subject today for five-ish minutes with Dr. Robert is Kala Bhairava. Bhairava comes from the Sanskrit word Biru, which means fearsome, fearful, as, uh, uh, terrible. And Bhairava sometimes is, the word Bhairava sometimes is translated as the terrifier, he who terrifies. So Bhairava is a very intense form of Shiva. There are different stories of the origin of Bhairava. And all of these stories involve Shiva taking on a form that is extremely intense and terrible for the purpose of destroying some kind of obstacle. Kala in Sanskrit can mean time. Kala can mean death. Kala can mean blackness, darkness. So time and, and, and death and darkness, these are all things that Shiva uh, manages and rules. But the form of Shiva that is most popularly worshipped in India is the benign Shiva. He has Parvati as a wife, and he has Nandi as a vehicle, and he has uh, two children, uh, Ganapati and uh, Kartikeya. And he, yes, he lives in a smashan, but he is smiling, and he is kind of gentle, and there's the Ganga on his head, and, and, the, and the moon on his forehead and so on, and he looks kind of agreeable. Bhairava does not look so agreeable. He is, um, he has fangs, and he has an intense grimace on his face, and he often, especially in places like Kathmandu and Ujjain, um, requests alcohol to be offered to him for his puja, for his worship. And sometimes he is, he, he's always associated with dogs. Sometimes he's even called Shvashva, which means he who uses a dog as a horse. That means who rides around on a dog. In Benares, Kala Bhairava is regarded as the Kotwal, the sheriff of Benares. And it's his job when you come to Benares to decide according to your karmas, what should be your fate in Benares. And therefore, it is always wise when you go to Varanasi, Kashi, Benares, whatever name you want to use for it, that you first go to Kalabaitav and you say, Oh, Kalabaitav, I have been fortunate enough, my karmas are good enough to get me here to Benares. But I pray that you will not destroy me because of whatever karmas I have brought along with me until I have been able to obtain darshan and gain blessings from the various great beings, especially your uh, transcendent form of Mahadeva here in Benares. Please have mercy on me. Thanks, Om Namah Shivaya. Please do that whenever you go to Benares, and therefore maybe Kalabaitav will have some mercy on you. So Kalabaitav's job is to make you in Benares at least, make you experience, go through all of your karmas in a speedy kind of way, an ugra, shigra kind of way, and that often is experienced in a really intense kind of form. And so you want to be able to survive it so that you will be able to have all of those negative karmas no longer influencing you, but meanwhile you will be able to move ahead and hopefully do some positive karmas so that your future is going to be in a superior condition than your current or past conditions have been. So Bhairava is Shiva. Shiva is Bhairava. But how they manifest is different according to the job they have to do. And Bhairava is very much involved with this, even more with the Smashan than Shiva is. Bhairava is always present in yogini temples, and yoginis are extremely strong, sometimes very harsh feminine energies that are, that are transcendent, but they're also very much imminent in the physical reality. There's a group of 64 of them, and Bhairava is always in the center of them. So Bhairava is intense himself, he's managing intense energies, but at all times he is 
He is never different except in manifestation. In essence, he is always the same as that very same Lord Shiva who is present in his much more benign form that often we are much more attracted to worshiping. May Kalabhaitava guide and protect each one of us. Om Namah Shivaya.